Okay, let's talk courtesy on the road. We all know that we're all meant to be courteous on the road, irrespective of what type of transport you are in, on, if any. Pedestrians are expected to walk on the side of the road where oncoming tra traffic is coming at them so that they can see it rather than have the traffic come up and startle them from behind. They're also expected to move over a little bit and go on the verge because they can. And just walk on there for a little bit. And it's particularly out in the countryside is this. In the towns we've got our We've got our pedestrian crossings and zebra crossings and everything. Courtesy at those is, as a pedestrian, you just make sure there's nothing coming because we know others can be discourteous and can splatter you and all other road users are expected to adhere to those sort of courtesy rules. Cars, you're meant to be courteous to each other, help each other out. We don't see a lot of that nowadays. There's so many cars on the road, it's more about competition and getting to where you're going and screwing the other guy. So, somebody trying to get out from a junction turning left say joining the traffic cars will come hammering up absolutely hammering up past a junction to see whether they can prevent somebody from getting out and being in front of them that could possibly cause them to slow down or be late etc etc buses you're meant to let buses out and there are plenty of really discourteous bus drivers who treat others without any courtesy because they've got a big sign on the back saying please let buses pull out probably one of the most courteous is lorry drivers I don't particularly perceive motorcyclists as particularly courteous. I'd say it's 50-50. Uh, particularly if you're in a commuting situation, trying to get here, there, or everywhere. But when it comes to cyclists, I have nothing against cyclists. I am a cyclist myself. But it's particularly the ones who seem to go out with a bit of road rage and a bit of a mentality about them that says I'm gonna go on a single carriageway road or a country road like this with my mate in my Lycras and I'll be going 20, 25, 30 miles per hour and I am going to go two abreast and I don't care if something is behind me because I have the right to do that I have the right on the road to be on my bike I completely agree cyclists have the right to be on the road as does everybody else ah, I've done it again now I tried turning around at that place once before and hit a load of gravel and nearly came a cropper when I was in the fly, all this gravel here because I quickly swung round I decided I wouldn't try and swing round this time I was talking so much I wasn't concentrating on the actual road that I needed so to get back to it, it's the lycra clad people 
who will generally ride two abreast because it is their right to do so irrespective how much traffic is building up behind them and whether anybody can get past and that's not just a car trying to get past or a truck, somebody who has business and work to get on with um, but even a motorcyclist you don't want to try and squeeze past somebody because you don't want to just clip them and not only send them flying but send yourself flying so you wait courteously behind them and your courtesy starts running thin after a while and people start getting annoyed nobody minds a cyclist running to a breast or a cyclist coming out wide apart from the total dickheads of course if they're coming up to a junction or a pinch point and they are keeping themselves safe by ensuring others are behind but nobody likes a dickhead that's just doing it because they have the right to do it we all have a right to be on the road all of us and I'm not just getting at cyclists here this is to everyone courtesy is so important and I'm probably guilty as much as anybody else of being discourteous at times see I'm travelling at 40 miles an hour here if a car comes along if there is one behind me at the moment it's about 50 yards back it's not particularly catching up which I'm quite happy about but when I'm in this sort of chatty mode not giving a damn about it about how fast I go my desire is not to get somewhere really fast but just to enjoy the view if he was to come up alongside me I'd probably nip in a little bit and give him a wave so that he could go past but he's not, he's hanging back 50 yards back quite happily enjoying the ride to drive himself or herself, whichever so it makes no difference I'm not in a rush and clearly they're not either but I don't want to be discourteous to them where does that road go? The other one is... Oh, it's going to sound really horrible, is this? Little old people going out for a Sunday drive in their little Fiat 500 or Toyota Yaris pink or blue hair nicely and recently done a couple of them in the car and they're tootling along at 30 miles an hour without a care in the world without bothering to look in the mirror and see that there's a three mile tailback behind them and they are the ones causing it what I'm not going to do though is turn around and tell 50cc moped riders who are restricted to 30 miles per hour sit in the gutter the whole time no that's definitely not expected but do be pardon me while I hiccup uh, do be courteous that if someone's been behind you for a while and they're clearly waiting to get past just nip in a little bit and let them go past give them a wave to go past when it's safe on the other side for them to go past that is you don't want them squeezing you making three abreast 
make sure there's plenty of space on the other side and they'll go back quite nicely don't make it don't make him sit behind you too long oh, I didn't get a nod anyway here I'm at Massam I'm going to stop at Massam I'm going to have a puff on me machine um, I don't think I'm going to do much else I might carry on up to Mana Cafe if I can work out how the hell to get there I've been there once but I don't really know how to get there I think that will do for the vlog for today. Ta-ra!